Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today going to start working on my um, Vintage Christmas Joy kit, or uh, journal. <laughs> it's all sewn in and everything. I don't know if we did that on camera or not, but anyway, I'm to this tray, on my project tray, so I'm so excited. Let's say hi and hugs first to Rhoda, Candy, Maria, and at Susie's call <laughs> at Susie's cottage. I almost said at Susie's college. Maybe Susie's at college. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh goodness. Thank you for your comments and your watching and all. I so appreciate every one of you. Okay. So this is one of the um canvas covers. I love these and I'm super excited to get going on this journal. Um, <clears throat> I have, I think, more ephemera to go in here than it's going to fit, but we're going to give it a shot. So um, first thing I want to do is find a page, like just a, maybe this green page. I have these that we made a while ago at, for on the edges of the pages. So I want to do those. Um, I think I'm going to tear this down just slightly. It's just ever so slightly too big. So we'll see how we do here. How's that? Yep, that's going to work. Okay, so... We're off onto a new adventure with this book. I'm excited. This is just going to be a fun one. This was the project where we took the scraps and we um, just randomly glued them on a strip of coffee dyed paper that was just, you know, a cut off. And so, so yeah, I am excited to have those on the edges of the page and as you noticed I just did the gluing on three sides because I thought it could be used as a tuck if you wanted to um wouldn't have to but sure could so yeah something could tuck in there if we want it to okay let's go to the green over here and I'm gonna do the same with this one and is that one gonna, this one's gonna fit better. Okay, so let's see, I need to go this away. So yeah, just random collage pieces and then random sewing, as you can see, it's just kind of all over the place, the sewing. And then we'll just pop it down the side of the page And it's got kind of fun raggedy edges and then just there we go okay that was the first thing I wanted to do <laughs> now let's go through what we have and see okay so I have this cute fabric flip That I think I'll kind of put it at the front because it's got a, a bulky a bulky piece here. It was probably an old piece of jewelry. And then that way, as we get to like here, you can still ride over it just fine. So I'm going to put that there. So that's good. Okay, let's see what else we have. I have a pocket and a card by Candace at Journal Me Crazy. So there's that. There's this side pocket. So there's that. Um, got just a fun little tag. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a pile of the pockets and a pile of the things to go in the pockets. This oh, this is a little matchbook. This could be either. I'm gonna put it in the middle <laughs> because you could put it on as a pocket. But it's also an ephemera piece that could be just tucked in. Same with this. 
this is real this is a bona fide pocket we're gonna call that a bona fide pocket then i have this one i'm not sure if this was my friend frida from rustic prairie gems i think it would have more sewing if it was candace at journal me crazy but was in my stash, so I'd like to use it. So there we go there. Um, let's see what's in here. I have this little envelope pocket that I made. So that's a pocket. This is this was the December tag of the month for piles of paragraphs, so that can go in the tags. Oh, look. Oh, I was going to say I used the same people. I did, but they're flip-flopped. Funny. Okay, this could be a side pocket if we want it to be. This is a little journal card, a little 50s. I think it's so cute. This is a flip down. So though it's not a pocket, it's a piece that goes on the page. We have this journal card that was made with one of those snippety things. I don't, which I'm trying to, oh, faux washi is I think what, no, this wasn't the faux washi. This was more like the collage on a strip thing that Rachel did. There's this pocket. This is a tag that I've had forever, and I thought it would go well in this journal. And I apologize, I don't know who sent me that, but Santa's Magic Key. So it's a super cute tag. So that can go on the side of into the pockets. And then this is a belly band and journal journal card and tag from Candace at Journal Me Crazy. And then we have yet some more. We have these things. These are from the Rachel's Challenge. The little um, notebook tags. I'm just... I mean, I'd only really pick one, and I think this one would go better. So I'll put this one in the other area that I have for ephemera. And then just yesterday, I did all these bags. So I'm going to keep all those, and we're just going to see which one goes the best. Oh, and then there's this little pocket. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to need that as a pocket, so I'm going to put that there. Okay, the other thing we have is I have my little uh, letter from the journal maker all ready to go for this journal. So that will go with it, but it won't go in it. So let's get busy figuring out spots for these things. Let's see. Okay. Well, I think I usually like to go... Where's the belly band? Is that at the back? I usually like to go kind of opposite of the of the fabric flip with the belly band. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. I just it's just something I usually do. And it looks like that's gonna fit there. So let's go ahead and take it out of the bag. Thank you, Candace, for these wonderful pieces that you've I think this may have been from last well it was from last year because she hasn't sent anything this year she started her youtube channel and now she's busy girl so um little tag in a pocket in the, on the journaling card and then the belly band isn't that cute i like it across from that too okay so we've got that one now i would say i would like the other piece from her in kind of in the front away from that. Let's see, got to get it out, see how how things fit and look and everything. Okay. Heck, I don't even know. I might have bought these last year. I don't know. But then that will go in there. Yep, I like that there. Okay. So now let's. Ooh, I'd like something. 
I'm thinking I'd like something. Um, on here, and I'm wondering. No, blends in too much. Okay, but I think I would like something on the middle, on those sides of the middle. That's all good for writing, but this is kind of, you know, could kind of use something. What about if we put this on there? Yes, I like that. And then the other side, what would we like? Um, oh, what about this? Yes, indeed. We're going to put that there. Okay. So there got one to the close close there what about something on this side so ooh that's pretty isn't it so i don't remember if i meant to mention Vintage Christmas Joy is from a jewel design, the, the ones that we're using in this one. Okay, so let's go to the other side of that, which is where? Here. Um... That's cute. Cute. I think I like this one better. Let's see. That's kind of nice with the. I think I'll put that one there. Um. And what else? Got that. That would be cute there, I think. I don't know. Okay, that one there. Yeah, I feel like we need to... Or do we want one here? I kind of like that. Okay, so then the green. And then... That one there. A couple more. I think this is going to be plenty of ephemera once we get, get everything put in. Okay, there. Do I have... Well, I still have that one. How about I put... Hmm... Let's put that one there and I'm going to put that one there. Maybe that one there. I'm looking at this paper. Oh, no, but that's not the right page this page. See, those Santas are right side up and the little girl's right side up. On this page, they're all upside down and that kind of bugs me. So I think I'm going to put him there. Then that'll just all be for... So, so let's see how many we have on each side. That's okay. So one, two, three, four, five. And on this side, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
So let's see this would go just fine like something like that. I think I might mm, no. I'd rather rather have it on a page where it, you know, kind of enhances what's going on. Maybe we'll do that because that's a rather plain page. So okay. So then where's the music back here? I'll just put this right down there. Okay, I think we've got it. I think we've got placement. Now we just need to go for the gusto here. And we'll need things to put in our um, in our front and back pockets. So we'll have that too. Oh, the bag. I wanted to use one of the bags. Well, I'll just have to find a spot. Ah. There we go. Gosh, that's pretty. All right. I apologize. I don't know where that came from, but I didn't make that one. It came from an Etsy shop. Okie dokie. Shall we figure out one of these? Let's see. That's there. It's practically something on every page. Maybe on this, on this. I think I like this one. I think I'll put that there. Okay, so these will go back in the box for other other journals. Okay, and never mind, we still have, you know, the ephemera from the kit. So, so but I love this kit because it's, you know, kind of 1950s. It's vintage. It's vintage. Okay, let's do, let's put on this one. I'm just going to. Pop that down there. <clears throat> it is really crazy how quickly a journal can come together when you have all the parts and pieces made ahead of time. When I started doing Christmas journals, I really didn't have much ephemera made. But, you know, with R Rachel's Roxy Creations Challenge and... Um, you know, scrappy Saturdays and just doing some things. They had it's come together. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little clip here because that's not want to stay down, and here. Okay, then, oh yeah, then we have this one, which was just made out of a scrap. So we will get that on there. long. That's okay. Um, I'm going to cut that off and then we'll re-glue. And then we'll have to re-distress um, it. It's because I put it on a um, 
digital page rather than a like coffee dyed paper or something. There we go. There we go. Crisis averted. side that we cut off there okay it's all good okay and then this one is gonna go like that with a pocket in the back much filling to do like the whole oh yeah and then this has a pocket back here so we'll need a tag for that so when I um, glue it on I'll just go on this side of the thumb hole will still fit uh, a nice tag, but then we can fill that back pocket too. Alrighty, moving right along, aren't we? then here on this one oh we have this great big one yeah I think I'm gonna let those dry a little bit before putting that one on because that'll be tricky let's just work over here for a minute okay so I'm gonna um, just glue down the sides and have this be a belly band Okay, I think I'll kind of just put it midway-ish, like so. It's so funny, it's like when you use art glitter glue and you want to reposition or something, it's stuck like everything, but then when you want it to stick, <laughs> it takes a minute. So we'll do this one next. Okay. So that's going to go down just like that. And I'm going to try and get real close to the edge because I feel like there's not much room for error here. We want as much space for the tag as we can get. Okay. Alrighty. Um, once again, I'm gonna this little this little corner that's right by the spine sometimes needs itself a little help okay so we'll go back over to this side again and let's see we're gonna put that on there is that gonna fit should okay and this was one that this was a uh, Rachel's Roxy creations challenge using the the backs of the envelopes where we use the, um, whatchamacallit, the window, and then using the rest of it too. Oops. Oh, I'm, I am going to cut a little bit of that off. It was a little too big. As 
long as I don't cut the stitching, I should be okay. There we go. Okay. And then this one should be stuck. Oh, there goes the fingernail polish. It's good. I need to redo anyway. Had a feeling with all the yeah, all the Fabri-Tac we were using there that I was going to make a mess, and I did. Okay, so let's do this right here. Oh, isn't she cute? So then we have to decide, do we want to have a pocket up here? I think I'm going to go side with this. So we'll just do the three sides and leave the other side open. Okay. Okay. I'm excited for this to be a fat little journal because I really love it when the um, the canvas, oh, I can't get to it, so I'm just going to have to hold it, um, when the canvas kind of rounds because it's such a chubby journal. Love that. Okay, that's done. That's done. That's done. Oops, almost peeled that off. Don't have anything here. If we decide we want one more piece based on the, the box we haven't gone through yet, I'll put it here. Okay, this one I'm gonna put on as a pocket in the back. feeling like I might not have enough stuff to fill the pockets, but so let's see this one. Yes. I'm gonna go here too. Oh, yeah, and then we, we have this one to cover the upside down people. I don't know why that bothers me, but it does. We'll come back to that when that other one's dry. Let's do this one. I think I'm going to put glue on this side of the brads, too just so um, I'm not getting caught on them with whatever I put in that pocket. Okay. Okay, so this one Yep, that's on there. Now we can do this one. Not that I'm going to put anything necessarily in the back of this, but you have the option, which is always nice, I think. Okay. There we go. We have an upside down Santa here, but... I just didn't want him at the bottom of my page looking upside down. It looked like I put the page in uh, upside down, which I didn't, but it looked like it. Oh my gosh, why are you being... It's because I'm going in and out and... I think I need to clean my, my this. I think I need to do. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, this should be dry by now. Okay, and this little guy has got a, kind of a scary Santa look now. Um, I could kind of do that as a tuck. I think I will, and, you know, we don't have to use it that way. I mean, but whoever ends up with this journal has that option. Okay, there's that. And then we're to, we're to this. Okay, so I know I need to put the, uh, I don't know where that came from. This little guy, where'd you come from? I'll put you right here. Um, right to the edge. I do believe, in order for the card to fit. Like a little too tall. Oh, gonna, gonna just mess it up here. I just want to make sure I'm... Might need more glue on that one. Let's just make this go around and just put more glue right there. Sometimes the stitching too makes it hard to stick, but I just want to make sure there's enough in that because enough room because this is a really tall card okay so now I'm gonna thumb through a little bit see how things are doing okay that's good now these can go in there okay Need something in there. Need something in there. This goes back here. Okay. Coming apart a little bit right there. Always little repairs along the way, aren't there? There. Oh. Okay, what am I hitting? Hitting anything. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. I thought it wasn't going to fit for a minute there. Okay, so there's that. This is on there. Nice and nice and tight. Okay. That's good. That's good. It's on there. Just need some help. So interesting. Because, you know, generally the art glitter glue is so quick to dry, but I don't know. So, that one's there. That one. 
And then this guy seems pretty good. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that the journal card fits in. Okay, yes, it does. Okay, isn't that pretty? Okay, so now I have this box, which is really getting full of made ephemera. We don't want those and we don't want this because we've already got those. A couple things I want. I want one of these because that is going to go on our, wherever it is, this. We're going to slide a tag down in there. I think I'm going to use the Santa one because there's a lot of Santa in here. So so there, we got that one taken care of. So let's just look to, let's look at our things that we have. Should do that. I just knew this was something I wanted. I would like it not to curl though. And we'll decide if we want to topper on that a little bit later. Okay. So, this one might be nice for this to slide into. Yeah, I like that. This one, let's see what we have. This is the same paper. Let's use that. Cute. Okay. And then we need some little things to go in this pocket and this pocket, which we'll work on that in a bit here. That one's all stuffed. Maybe this one. This one could go in here. Yep, fits just perfect. What am I? Oh, yeah, it's got journaling cards in there. Okay, yep, I like that there. And we'll need something small there too. But there's probably stuff in the ephemera that we can use there, I'm thinking. Okay, here's a big pocket that we could put this journal card in. Yes, I like that. Now we have this big Santa tag. Oh my gosh, he fits in there perfectly. Okay, Santa, that's where you're going to be. How are you doing over here? Are you sticking? I'm going to put one in the middle right here. Just to make sure. Okay. Then we have this oh would it fit oh it would it would fit so i'm going to put that behind there we could tuck something in there if we wanted and that's it other than other than the backs okay let's see what we might have how we do in time wise we're good we are gonna have this journal all but done i'm telling you it's amazing Oh, look at these cute little things. Yes, recently got those. So let's, um, let's pop one of those like that. And then what was the other one? The Santa, um, this one. Let's put one in there. Nope, that's a bigger pocket, so no. But, you know, what we might put is a playing card. I'm just going to pop that little Santa playing card in there. And then something for the top. Oh, look at this cute tag. That would be cute in this one. So, those would be cute. Okay. So, what do we want? Could we do like a... Santa playing card and then this we could and then it pops closed awesome okay I don't 
know that I need another tag. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Unless I was to like go like that and like that or something. I think I'll save this for another journal though. I don't want that to be too squishy. I have a double journal card here. These are from, um, this is from Vintage Studio 717, this paper. You know what? I have these um, vintage little card things. What if we put one of those in there? Yeah. Yep. Okay, and you should be good by now. I can put something behind there, which we'll see if this looks good. It does. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Okay, we've got that. Could put something here. I don't like this because the Happy Holidays is up and down, so I think we could think we could do better. Those are all tags. I don't think I want a tag. I think I want like a journaling card or something. No. And that one. Oh, this is, this goes sideways. And that's a little notebook. Oh, I like that. Okay, that. And you guys, that does it. Oh, it's fat. It's so fat. I love it. And it's got stuff hanging out. Yes. Okay, so let's figure out our closure. And I do believe, let me get rid of all of these extra ephemera pieces. Feeling like I'm gonna need a bigger box or I gotta get busy on some more journals. <laughs> oh, it's just too fun. All right. I think I'm gonna do uh, Brad's, or why do I call them that? Um, eyelids. Okay, let's do that. And these are silver, silver, so we could do silver eyelids. So, I am going to take this in a pen, and we're going to measure this. It's just over 9 inches. So, let's just go 4.5 from, go from the top. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over and go four and a half from the top on this side. Which, since there's a, I'm just going to call that the spot, I'll make that bigger. I've got little dots on the stamp that's there. I'll do this one first because it's kind of hard to see. Okay. Sorry. I don't know if I'm in camera or not. Okay. Let's put a silver, silver one of these. Okay. And then head this way. Okay, did that. Where'd you go?
going in there. There. It likes one way better than the other, and I don't know which is which. Okay. So, and then we need to think about what we want in there. Um, what do I have here? Oh, yes. I have ribbon from Triple V Vintage. I am going to use, I think, the red. Green would be cute too, but I think I'd want the red. Thank you, Veronica. This is like perfect. Okay, so these are giant things of ribbon. So I, I want it to um, double and have enough for a bow, but I don't need, certainly don't need all of this. So let's then, where's my end? Okay. Then we can save this for another project. Oh, I'm so tickled. We just about to have this done. I knew it would go together quickly because I had way plenty of ephemera for it. Oh, those front pockets. We need to think about the front pockets. Oh, I know one thing I could put in there. You know what? I think I've, I think I have an idea. Okay. So then, let's do this side. Okay. So, those will just those will just tie. Like so and like so cute, right? Okay, so my thought is on these front pockets, on the front pocket, let's put the letter from the journal maker in there. Sometimes I send them separately, but that can go in there. Then this side, what I was thinking is, I've got, got some of these, um, Got some of these. So I like that one. And then what I'm gonna do is um, I'll put the extras from the kit um, in a bag or something too. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I need to sign this. Someplace, maybe just right there, I guess. Made with love by Gail Gustinelli. 2021. Okay. What? We got it done. Okay, I'm going to do the flip through right now because we have time and um, that way then it, in the coming days this will be in my Etsy. Okay. Let's do this thing. Things are out of the way a little bit. Okay. Santa. Here he is. Okay, so canvas cover, decoupaged with a Santa napkin, Tim Holtz corners, lace on the spine, letter from Santa in here, the beautiful digitals by uh, a jewel design, vintage Christmas joy. There is a little fabric flip for your secrets. Little um, Ideal Magazine page. 
if you die, there's another digital. Little pocket by um, Candace at Journal Me Crazy. It's a little die cut on that page. Got a little notebook of papers in here. This flips up, pocket here, flips up, pocket there. Little tag in the back. The collage strip. More die cuts. More beautiful designs. And then this beautiful piece. Don't, I'm thinking maybe, it, I was thinking it was Frida at Rustic Prairie Designs, but she signs all her pieces, so it probably wasn't. But it isn't as, it isn't sewn, which is what Journal Me Crazy does. So I'm not positive. If, if you created this beautiful pocket, please say something in the description box below. And it's got one, two, three, po four pockets. Just all kinds of stuff in here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I do apologize. Always sign your work. That's the, that's the takeaway. <laughs> Okay, uh, collaged page. This is one of the beautiful papers from Triple V Vintage. Oh, it's so crunchy. A little bit. The fruitcake that ate New Jersey <laughs> cracks me up. And this is the little um, a little bag we did with a with a tag. Oh, I wanted to put something there, which we just grab if I. See it. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Again, Triple V Vintage. She did some um, some beautiful designs on index cards and such. So I think I'm going to put that one in there. If it will fit, will it fit? Got to cut a tiny bit off. That's okay. It won't won't bother the design at all. Okay, let's try that. Yes, I wanted to put that in there, so yes, that's perfect. Okay, so then we've got this little flip down for writing, and it's got a big old tag, which I think I'm going to just leave as is behind the belly band there, St. Nicholas. Lots of writing space in this journal. Um, I will find some charms to put on the end of those strings. So that's that's a to-do. We didn't find anything that we couldn't live without on that page, so that's okay. Some fun little pockets with tags. This is um, the matchbook, so it's got, you have to only grab one page. <laughs> so it's got papers to be written on or pulled out for other things or whatever. This again is a little notebook. Pop that in that little tuck. The ideal page, the belly band page. And the back. So there you have it. Another one done. Good, because my list is long. <laughs> Let's see. I am going to leave that because I need to put charms on it. But other than that, that one is done. Thank you so much for helping me get it done and for crafting with me today. We will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everyone. Bye-bye.